baby sleeping. Oh, I do all of this in, in between times when I have a moment to spare. But most of us moms do. Um, and, you know, I stopped making excuses. And I'm doing, doing the videos every day. Um, and I'm doing it all on my phone right now just because I was tired of always saying, well, you know, I don't have the right equipment. I, you know, I can't do this because of such and such. Um, and my thoughts and my words were keeping me from my greatest version. And your thoughts and your words could do the same thing um, if you allow them to. We have been talking about this and I will be talking about this um, in times to come. I'm probably going to switch it up. Uh, for a couple of new topics, but I'll always probably come back to this one because it is such a big, important thing to grasp. And remember, um, we've talked about um, your brain waves and how, as a child, uh, you were in like a hypnosis state where you were in this beta brain wave links and you were absorbing everything but having no filter or anything to relate it to. So that is where you create limiting beliefs if, you know, something were to happen to you as a child and you, you know, interpreted it in a way that an adult wouldn't, um, that kind of becomes your limiting belief. Say you were, um, like my own story, uh, there was a, uh, we were all tasting Mystic, this new popular drink when I was a kid. And one of my uh, brother's friends decided he would make a joke and um, play with how, uh, you know, see who was the most gullible, which of course was me because I was the youngest, and say, you know, oh, look, this drink has the, and on the ingredients, see other bottle. And I thought I was so special because on my bottle, there was the ingredients. And I started reading them out loud everyone started laughing at me it's like of course to a child they were laughing at me um to an adult they were just laughing at the joke um and i felt stupid you know and that became one of my limiting beliefs that i was not smart enough um and so that was some of the you know negative mindset uh that was instilled in me and some of the language that became you know programmed into my subconscious and I subconsciously would always speak that language to myself if an opportunity in you know presented itself to me you know I would say something like oh well I'm not smart enough I'm not good enough you know nobody would you know nobody would want me and that those are some of the other limiting beliefs that were in there uh, I just kind of recently figured out that another one was that nobody would want me. Um, and uh, I had an opportunity to go to China um, to sing in a touring group. And it would be a tour all around, you know, um, the country of China, which I thought was amazing. I've always wanted to go there. And it's one of those things uh, I wish I could tell my past self, uh, don't listen to those limiting beliefs. Um, let them go and you can really go far. And, uh, but that, you know, subconscious language, that negative language was, was holding me back and ultimately that opportunity passed me by. So a lot of people wish, you know, we have these stories that we have created um, with the power of just our words, and they can take us to a whole other world, um, which is kind of the world that I live in as a librarian myself, um, that this language has this power um, that we we don't even sometimes realize that we take it for granted. Like, you know, I was talking about yesterday, we take this for granted. I'm still in a little bit of pain here because of my new alignment piece, but... You know, I'm working through it because I'm not, I refuse to let that hold me back. I refuse to let that be my limit and, you know, say any negative 
you know, words to myself, like, oh, you know, nobody wants to hear me talk with that kind of lisp. I'm not going to do it. Uh, if I, my goal is always if I, one person uh, this reaches and it changes their life and helps them in any sort of way, then it was worth it. Um, so, because, mm, don't you hate it when you're on a train of thought, you're on that train, then you get off on another train, you forget where they go on? Ah, that's kind of me right now. But that's okay. We go on the fly and we keep rolling. Um, so, with limiting beliefs, with that, you know, language inside of your head, if you are speaking in a negative mindset, then you're going to get negative results, right? Um, a negative, it's not like math, where a negative times a negative equals a positive. Um, it's more like when you're adding it, and a negative plus a negative is still a negative. Um, so, and it, even, uh, I'm really diving like into a whole new level here having a having a little epiphany vision right here that's that burning bright vision um if you think about math math is the what they call the universal language so it's another type of language that is you know power right there um that math kind of leads you to show you uh about negative you know um negative mindset to yourself so even if you have like a larger po a larger negative um versus a smaller positive you still end up with a negative so even if you have this large negative mindset and you start having positive results sometimes the negative will still outweigh it and you'll still have that vision that you're seeing um so it's uh kind of like that saying to everything uh um to a hammer everything's a nail so if you have that negative mindset, everything you see is going to be giving you, uh, you're going to see the negative in everything. And remember, in another episode, um, we talked about that all things have positive and negative in, you know, in their experience. It's just your choice which you choose to tune into. And that's kind of, you know, that thought process that everything in life is you know has energy so it's just kind of different radio wavelengths that we're tuning into like a radio um and so with with this language that we've given power to and you know these stories that we write for ourselves um if it's your story then you want to be writing it so that you look back on it and you don't regret. Um, I know, you know, later on in life, such as now, I look back and I wish I had gone, uh, you know, to China and done those things. And we have, we have not only written stories for ourselves, but authors uh, who really tune into that, uh, have tuned into how words are powerful. They have written so many stories, that's what I was saying before, um, where we have, you know, these heroes and they have superhuman abilities. You know, X-Men uh, are really popular. You know, it's a Fantastic Four. Um, you know, any of the Marvel comics and not just those. If you look at um, sales for books, a lot of sales, especially for young adults and younger um, students, are fantasy. They tend to enjoy fantasy books, even if um, they are history lovers. They even have, you know, a history type version of fantasy where, you know, like Magic Treehouse, where they have this treehouse and they end up going back in history, but it's still a fantasy. So, we have invented these things so that we could have heroes that we could aspire to be, but we're forgetting that we are our own hero. We already have a superpower. We have already, it's already there. We learned it, you know, at one, two, three, when we start learning the language. That is our superpower. My mouth is hurting so bad right now. <laughs> I'm going to work through it. Um, that is our superpower. 
and we can't take it for granted. We can't just overlook it. We've got to use it, and we have to use it for good because it's like before, right? All things have a yin and a yang. They all have good, and they all contain evil. They, you can raise somebody up, you can tear somebody down. There's construction and destruction, right? There's a positive and a negative to everything because that's how it creates balance. Um, with our superpower, we have to try to aspire to be to use it in a positive way because if we are using it positively, that is echoed back to us in the universe. Remember, the universe is kind of like a giant copy machine. So whatever you give it, it gives it back. Like here, I need 50 copies of you know this manuscript that I'm writing. Thank you for my 50 copies back. And then I can you know send it out into the world and get more copies if I'd like. So if we are sending out positivity, we are going to be getting back positivity. And it's also helping us to set our mind into that positive mindset so that we're not seeing the negative in everything. We're seeing the positive. It's kind of uh, the, when we talk about optimist versus pessimist, um, the optimist obviously are seeing more of the positive in everything. There's also the realist. I might have to take this thing out. Whew. It is becoming a distraction almost to me. Um, I'm trying to work through it. Uh, it'll be worth it in the end. And also, it'll be worth it to you to hear the words. Um, mm. But we also have the realist. Um, I haven't quite figured out the realist. The realist, I guess, sees both sides. They're able to see both sides of everything. They're able to see the, you know, the negative quality, maybe, you know, things that um, won't work out. But they're also able to see the positive in if it would work out. Um, I, I, I try to see both sides of everything. Two sides to every coin, right? Heard that phrase? There, we have so many general phrases that we give ourselves just to, like, to give us little tricks and you know, refreshers, like, oh yeah, remember what they say? Remember, they are us. I am they, you are they. So whatever they're saying, you know, it's partly you. We are all reflections of each other. Um, and if you don't agree with what they say, then change it. You have that power. Um, because you have the superpower. We all do. It's all in us. We were given that by the Creator. Because we are creators ourselves. We are the reflection. Of source energy um, and we came here to create our own reality we came here to live life to its fullest whether that be to the fullest of you know the the you know yin part or the yang part if it's going to be positive or negative it's still going to be living life to the fullest some people are in a zombie state where they are just going through the motions you know they're they're just going through day-to-day -day survival and they haven't woken up to the fact that they're creators and they are unknowingly using that superpower and doing it you know without any knowledge if you are not being able to choose then it's going to be chosen for you but we have that right uh to be able to choose to be able to make our own create you know our own reality um it is our birthright. We came here as creators. Um, we were made in his image. Uh, so, when you are speaking for yourself, when you are even thinking about yourself, always think positively. If you have been in a negative mindset, you know, if somebody um, says, hey, you know, you want to go out tonight and do something? And you're like, oh, well, you know, I don't have time for that. That is a negative mindset. When you say stuff like, I don't have time for that. Or, you know, I never have any time. Or, there's not enough hours in the day. Um, you know, there's never enough money. That is in that negative mindset. And instead of saying, you know, I, I, there's never any time for that, you can say, how do I make time for that? Um, you know, ask yourself the question, 
what would happen if I did succeed? Uh, what would it look like? And use the visualization. Um, your thoughts, remember, are what begin the manifestation process. Intention is here, right? Action is out here, even if it's just voice. And manifestation happens after this. I am. The two most powerful words to remember. They will either make you or break you, um, like I said at the other video, but they are your superpower. You already are a hero. You already are a hero. And your story, and you may be the hero in someone else's story. But never let it be his story, such as someone else's, right? Always be in charge. Always take initiative and be mindful. When we stop being mindful, that's when we get into the zombie zone and we just let things happen for us, to us. We have no say in it at that point when we stop being mindful. Um, we start getting into that subconscious state and if we have those limiting beliefs, they will kick right in because subconscious is like our autopilot. They'll kick in and take over and say, all right, autopilot's on, don't worry, I got you, boo. So those limiting beliefs, even though they are limiting you, your subconscious was there to try to help you. So at one point they were helpful um, until they're not. And then they're just an automatic pilot, kind of like um, on your phone or your computer. When you have those programs that you never use anymore and all of a sudden your computer or it just happened to my phone actually kind of kicked in and said, hey, you've got a lot of stuff going on in here that you're not using. Would you like to delete some of it? You're like, oh, well, let's, let's look back. And you start looking back and going, oh, wow, I haven't used that. Man, I remember. Jeez, I still have that. And you're like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, let's delete some of these. That's what we need to be thinking about. That's what we need to be doing. We need to kind of be making a self-diagnostic of ourselves and seeing are there any programs that are not serving us anymore? Write those things down. Thank the universe for, you know, and thank them for keeping you, you know, safe, for keeping you, uh, you know, in a well thought out place for the time, but you are not needed anymore. I release you back into source to someone else who will, you will serve better um, and release them. And that way it frees up that space for a new program to begin. And instead of having that negative mindset programming subconsciously going on, you can eventually, if you, you know, use repetition, if you use meditation, seven, 10, 15, 30 day rep, uh, meditation challenge out there, um, when you are going to sleep, because when you fall asleep, you fall into that theta state. When you come back out of sleep, you come through that theta state. So there are small pockets of windows that you can still access that, as well as repetition. So the more you do it, um, the easier it will become. We've all known that, right? How many teachers, oh, well, you know, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, you know, when, when you started walking, you fell down, but now you don't fall down as much anymore. You know, it becomes an automatic pilot thing. Um, so you can get a more positive uh, mindset where if you, you know, have moments where you stop being mindful, those positive things will carry you through and still see you safely to where you are going. Um, just like the other ones where they thought they, you know, remember the subconscious cannot, they, it's not a filter. Um, it's just there to, you know, kind of float you through life and it's trying to do so safely. Um, unfortunately, many of us are doing it in a negative fashion and it gives us negative results because we're on that automatic pilot, we're not being mindful, and we have limiting belief programs instead of, you know, a limitless belief. Um, and we are all limitless. Remember, you are already a superhero. You already have a superpower. You are the hero in your own story and maybe someone else's. So remember, in next video, I think I'll give you um, a few words to add to your vocabulary um, to help you in your positive mindset. 
Until next time, though, keep burning brightly, and I will see you later, visionaries. Bye!